Hey guys, what's up? It's XS here, and welcome to lesson two of your Minecraft modding tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we will be making a new block for Minecraft. This is quite simple for your first tutorial, and well, it's fairly easy. So, actually, we have to do a couple things first. First of all, what we need to do is we need to create two classes. Now, follow along with me. I'm, go I'm going to explain a little bit of what each things mean. Public. This means that any other class can access this method. Now, oh yeah. <laughs> string means that it will return a string of text. So if, it, if something calls it, that string of text will be put in to that variable. Whew, sorry guys, a little bit tired. Alright. Now you need to put git version. Like so. This is a mod loader method. So yeah, you put that there. Empty parameters like that. Now you're going to get an error. And it says that this method w must return a, s a result of type string. So, here's what we need to do. We need to basically return something. So we return our version of Minecraft. My current version of Minecraft is 1.2.5. And then you put a semicolon at the end and you're all good. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. I gotta go answer the door. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. Um, I'm back now. Alright, we left off with this. Now we need to create a method that loads all of our mods. So, give yourself some space up here. And then public void and void means it won't return anything. Load, empty parameters, then you open up your brackets. Now, we got our methods done. Now, because we're going to need this in later, what you need to do is go back up here underneath the package net minecraft source and put import java.util.random with a capital R. If you don't put a capital R, it won't work. Now, what this does is it imports a random number generator. We're going to need that for later. When we when we want to generate ores and stuff. Alright, so now, first thing we need to do is declare our block. Public, static, I'm not quite sure what static means, but you need it. Oh, and, blo and final means that you it can't be changed after it's declared. Block. This means that it is a variable that goes to the block class. And then you name it. I'm going to name mine test block. Like that. Equals new block test block. And then your first parameter in this is your item ID. I'm not sure where you can start at or where you can end at, but on my mod that I made, I started at 150 and it worked fine. And then you need a zero because that's the that's going to be your index in the texture. But we're not using the terrain.png file, so we don't need to use that. Um, now I need to set the hardness. So we do that by putting dot set hardness. And now in here, the weakest you can put it is at zero I, I'm not sure if you can do this but 0 0.1 F maybe I'm not sure if you can do that though but I'm putting it 3 F now we need to set the resistance now I put that that well we do that by putting set resistance and this is basically its resistance level against TNT and why is that still up all right so oh wait a second I was outside of me okay um, now in here, I usually put 5F, like whenever I'm making a block that isn't too important. Alright, so now we need to set the block name. So set block name. And this is not going to be the end game name. Just set it the same thing as your variable. And then it, you can end it there, I think. Hold on, I'm getting an error somewhere. Oh, I put two F's here. Whoopsie. Alright, now we're getting an error here because we haven't created that class that class yet. But don't worry, we will. 
Now you can end it right here or you can set a light value to it. And to do that you put dot set light value. And in here it takes another float just like these two right here. Now I'm going to set it to 5F and then I'm going to end my line there. Now it's saying that we haven't created a class yet so let's do that right now. New class. Oh and by the way I'm up here creating a new class because you can't see. I'm clicking the new class button. But you could just go file a new class if you wanted to. Now, so what what you need to do is in here, you see what you put right there? You have to put that right here. So block test block. Like that. And now you, sh you click on finish, which is down here where you can't see it and then just erase everything in here now what you need to do is go through here and find block stone like right here now copy all this and go back into the test block and paste it in now right here where it says block stone you want to you name it the same thing as what you have up here So, therefore, you want to name it test block like that. Alright. Then, right here, you want to name it test block like that. Now, everything's good. But we want it to drop itself, right? So, what we need to do is erase this line until the return. And then put mod underscore and then your name right here that you had so mine was name here name here and then you need to put dot and then your and then your block name the variable name so test block like that dot block id like that now it will return itself now in here this is where we add the name and everything like that so now this is where mod loader comes in mod loader dot add name no 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 hold on let's do the register first mod loader dot register block and then we type in the variable test block and then we end that line with semicolon and then hold on a second I gotta make sure I ended it yeah I put a semicolon on that one alright alright so now we want to do mod loader dot add name for now we want to add it for test block. Now over here this is what the end game name is. We have to put it in quotes. So we're just gonna call it test block for excess. Just like that. Okay? Now we need to override the texture. Mod loader dot add no 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 hold on a second. I'm messing up a little bit. I apologize. Alright, take the variable name, test block, dot block, index, in texture, like that. Then, what you want to do is put an equal sign, mod loader, dot add, override, like that. Now, in here, it takes two parameters. For the first one, you always put, well, for blocks anyway, you put slash terrain dot png like that now you go over here and this is where your image is going to be located so we're going to put it in slash my mod slash pick dot png like that now you're done so all you have to do is just save everything and then you got to create a texture for your block so i'll be right back after i create the texture Okay, hey guys, I'm just going to use this texture for it. So I'm just showing you what texture I'm going to use, and I'll be right back to show you what to do with it. Okay, guys, so once you're in your MCP folder, what you need to do is you need to open up a thing. Um, what does he need? Oh, yeah. So you need to open up your jars right here, open up your bin, and then open up your Minecraft.jar. You got to open it with WinRAR. 
which I'm sure you know how to get that. If you don't, then just search Lenore. Alright, so now what you want to do is if you put it in a folder, right click and create new folder. Now, here's what you need to do. You need to name it what you named it, named it in Eclipse. So I named mine my mod. So that's what I'm going to name it. Is hold on, I have to edit it again. My mod. Like that. Now you go into it, like that, and then you find your texture, which is right in here. I'm using this one, then you drag it in, like that. And it'll ask you some stuff, yes, you want to do that. Oh, and if it, if it comes up with that error, what you need to do is in MCP save everything or not MCP but um, Eclipse and then close it. All right now you close that error out and then you tra drag in that again. Now you launch your MCP so give me a second and I'll be back when it launches. Alrighty guys I'm back now it's time to test it so what you do is on the top here there will be a little play button you just click that Alright, then you're going to launch it. Let's hope we don't get no errors. Alright, good. We got no errors. So now, you have a single player. Create yourself a world. Um, well, I haven't made a crafting recipe for it yet. But it'll definitely be in here. Um, but that's your, as long as you didn't get any errors, you did it right. I can't prove it to you until we do a crafting recipe tutorial. Which will be in a couple tutorials, because the next tutorial is going to be on items. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you learned a lot from it. My name is XS, and please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.